Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Versailles here in Panay News tonight. The nephew of slain drug lord Melvin Odecta Sr. was arrested in a bypass operation at the Plaza of Haro in Iliilu City Thursday afternoon. Police identified the suspect as 38-year-old Rick Odicta of Barangay Tanza Esperanza City proper, Iliilu City. Odicta was named after he sold a sachet of the suspected illegal drugs to an undercover in exchange for 25,000 pesos. When frisked, Odicta yielded four more sachets of suspected shabu which were also worth 25,000 pesos. The suspect was detained facing charges for violation of Republic Act 9165 or the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. A job hire of the Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office in Cibalom, Antique was shot to death Thursday morning. Police said 22-year-old Vernel Mondrial of Barangay Igpadulong, Cibalom sustained gunshot wounds on the head and body. The incident happened around 7 a.m. in the boundary of Barangay Igdalagit and Salvacion, also in Cibalom. According to police investigators, Mondrial was on his way to work when attacked by two motorcycle riding gunmen. Officers of the Cibalom Municipal Police Station were still investigating the identity of the suspects and the motive in the killing. Local government units in Western Visayas are tightening their watch against the entry of African swine fever with cases already recorded in Eastern Visayas. Provinces of Aklan and Negros Occidental will be strictly imposing border restrictions according to Department of Agriculture and Western Visayas Director Remelin Recoter. Recoter said hog vans and other animal stock carriers must be disinfected upon entry on borders. Traders will also be asked to present their certificate of disinfection from their point of origin. Antique, meanwhile, is still free from ASF according to the January 20 report of the Provincial Veterinary Office. Provincial Veterinarian Dr. Florencio Makuha said their office is conducting ASF monitoring tests every two weeks to ensure and check the status of hogs in the province. On the other hand, the province of Iliilo extended their ban on the entry of swine, pork, pork products, and byproducts coming from areas with confirmed cases of ASF. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is Panay News, the number one digital and printed news in the region. Don't forget to always wear face masks and face shields. Sanitize your hands and observe proper physical distancing. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe. What's our Messiah? See you again tomorrow evening. Witness an event celebrating the feast of Senor Santo Nino with songs, dances, and messages of hope. See your favorite tribes and dance with them at the comfort of your homes. Kay hindi gidya mapunggan ang pagpasalamat kag pagcelebrar naton sa bugay kag bulig sang aton makaako. She is Rabia Oxenia Mateo, Miss Iloilo, and Miss Universe Philippines 2020. And this is my partner, Rocco Nasino, Kapuso Artist of GMA7. And join us as we host together Dinagyang Digital 2021. Viva Senor Santo Nino!